uh, the reason I elected ICU is because it looked quite interesting. The learning or challenge-based learning is something I'm not super familiar with. I chose to join ECIE Challenge so as to broaden my knowledge. I noticed that most of these challenges are not what I see in the coursework. So majorly, that is the reason why I joined the ECI Challenge. Uh, we propose the challenge to students on how we make UAS a greener campus. If we have all the facilities and infrastructure very well designed and eco-friendly, but we don't use them properly, we fail. Now you have a tour around the campus, you think about it, okay, what kind of challenge I can develop. But they throw like paper, everything is like... Yeah, I think it's a very good project for the students to find out and to help us and everyone to what we can do to, do, to find solutions on uh, the environment. And after you come back from the tour here, you can tour around the campus here, you can think about your teammates that actually what kind of challenge you want to work on it. Because now we have big idea, we have our essential question, we need to develop our challenge that you want to work on it. In challenge-based learning, uh, actually in each stages, we try to develop some um, solution and uh, for that reason we need some uh, problem-solving techniques and we use some tools, we apply some tools and methods uh, to develop uh, a student's entrepreneurship mindset. Uh, for example, in stage 3 we use six thinking hats uh, that help students to develop their different thinking skills uh, because we want uh, students actually to look at a problem in a, uh, only at one perspective at time. For example, uh, students wear the black hat because because at one time they all want to think about the negative point of the solution uh, and it helps the students for creating thinking to solve the problem. The main idea in simple words is we are trying to change the behavior of the students by giving them rewards. So finally, our idea has been given to you. This is our idea, solution. What we are presenting, we are going to present you Smart Cups. We have named this thing as a Smart Cup because it has this QR code underneath. This is an easy solution. It's doable and it's very cost effective. Apart from that, we are also going to please our stakeholders. So with that, we all encourage you, come join us. Let's go green today and we cannot let our opportunity fly away. Uh, what uh, do you take away from uh, having been on this challenge? First, teamwork, collaboration. Secondly, to analyze a problem, you can use a challenge-based learning method. Thirdly, to solve this problem, you use the fishing technique. And then lastly, to analyze and everything to just in solve the problem, you use the six, six thinking hearts method. Uh, but yeah, I learned uh, more about how I work in a team environment and what uh, roles arises in a team dynamic when uh, the challenge, you know, we didn't have that much time. It was three days in total, but I think all of our projects, all the groups, you know, we covered a lot of ground together. And uh, uh, yeah, I think if we had even more time, things would be uh, like, it would be amazing to have like our solutions. Uh, besides reading the articles and the research papers and the books at the library, it was a wonderful experience to go out and see the surroundings of UIS and talk to people and see the real-time challenges that UIS is facing. And being a part of our team, I, 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 I really enjoyed it. And I encourage students who seek uh, adventurous uh, knowledge-based trip. So you're more than welcome to join ECIU Challenges. Ready?